Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Nine Ball time here in Paris. Welcome to our first Euro Tour stop in 2011. This is the dynamic Euro Tour French Open and we are playing at the Leader Club in Paris, Soucy en Brie. We had about 170 participants from 36 countries who are playing for the medals and the prizes, the trophies. And this is day number two. And at this time I would like to introduce the players. We've got Dimitri Jungo from Switzerland. He's playing the young gun. Joshua Filler, 13 years old he is. And uh, he finished fifth in the men's division of the German National Championship. That's a big achievement for him. And he made it into the quarterfinals at the Juniors European Championships in Lende last year. Dimitri had a big achievement when he became the nine uh, ball world champion of the youth in 2000 and came back in Quebec and uh, in the same year he won his first Euro Tour title. The format is a race to nine, double elimination, single race at the stage of the last 32 WPA rules with alternate break. The total prize money is 42,000 euros and alongside with me is Thomas Overbeck. My name is Marco Takis. How are you doing, Thomas? Wow, Marco, that was impressive. I am doing fine. Thank you very much. How are, are you still okay? I'm fine. I, I try to breathe now. Yeah. So we had uh, who won the lag? It was Dimitri Jungo won the lag against the young kid uh, Joshua Phil. I'm sure he knows the results of Joshua before, and he knows that he had some big results against some guys here in uh, in Paris. <coughs> He's aware of it. Yeah. Well, um, I have seen. Joshua today myself um, I saw him play Oliver Ortman <coughs> and um, as you know Oliver is very one of the toughest draws that you can get in the in the tournament and uh, what amazed me were two things one is that uh, Joshua was obviously I don't mean to diminish his, his achievement or his, his uh, performance but he was really lucky when he played with Ortman but the second thing is he had absolutely no fear, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this was that, for a first stroke, ladies and gentlemen. He <laughs> fires the first kick shot in. That's a kick. good shot. I interviewed him afterwards, and uh, and he said uh, because once he takes a lead, he uh, he really tends to get a bit uh, negligent, you know, a bit careless, and then doesn't play the safety shots as well, and and fouls and stuff. And he says, yeah, yeah, that happens to me every once in a while. Yeah. I, ga I got to work on it. It's funny when you interview a 13-year-old guy telling you, I got to work on it. Well, you got time to work on it. <laughs> True, that is. And uh, the funny thing about it, the, the, the arena is packed. Well, the few people who were here in the place, they're gathered around this, uh, this place trying to see the young kid here now in action. And he did great after firing the uh, two ball with a kick shot he put Dimitri Jungo uh, under pressure playing a safety mm -hmm. not a bad one nothing to sneeze at and the experienced uh, Dimitri Jungo he played an intentional foul by trying to freeze the uh, four ball to the six yeah but I think the three ball travels in the pocket down here where uh, Joshua is standing. Thanks for the new camera, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this uh, between us, folks. <laughs> he might be. Uh, he might be okay still. I don't know. But even if he may, if if it <coughs> travels, mm -hmm. well, he gives the answer. Obviously, it doesn't. So, what is he going to do? There's a big danger here. If you play that combination, Joshua, it could be that the three ball rolls past the six. Ah, but he played a follow shot so that he can or he will be able to mm, play it. Good. We need another angle to see that. Oh, oh no. Went too far. It yeah. went too far. Yeah, true. <laughs> Plays a safe. Ah, but I think it slipped ah, through. That was too far. And this gives the first open shot to Dimitri Jungo. I think Dimitri asked him if he thinks that this shot was okay. Maybe he thought he spotted a foul there. I'm not sure. 
He asked him if this is okay, he said yeah, it was a correct shot, and then he accepted it that way, then anyways he has an open shot on the yeah. three ball, and he can take care now of the remainder of the rack. Uh, the question is how to get uh, to the seven. <coughs> We had a hill-hill match here, Harald Stolke against um, Ruslan Chinahov. Yeah. Both very strong players. Stolke being more fortunate or being uh, the nose ahead in the end, you know, I mean. Absolutely. And Harald now is playing Mateusz Nygotski or Snigotski from uh, Poland. We also had a match where between uh, Ralf <coughs> Zuckin and Nikolas Ottermann. Oh, wow. And uh, Nikolas Ottermann, I talked to him, he's on his way home now. And he said uh, that he, like, was able to pocket four or five balls only. <coughs> and a good shot here from, uh, from Dimitri Jungo. And the nine, and for the one, Neil. All right, and it's uh, Joshua's break. He had a good break, uh, considering that he made a ball in the break, but he parked the cue ball behind the seven. This is not good, because he has no look at the one ball, which is... Uh, the ball w which is on now I think he's going to be forced to play a push out he's calling a push Dimitri Jungo, the first thing he w looked at it uh, if the 2 4 combination is on or not, uh, because this would be the next ball to play after making the one ball. But uh, there is no way to make the one ball, so he's letting Joshua Filler back at the table. Oh, I, he left him a shot here on the one ball. The question is how to get to the two, because the two, if you need to pull back to get position to the two ball, or if you have enough angle play, a follow shot, come back then in towards the middle of the table. <coughs> and then he could take care of the two-four combination. Alright, we have a uh, pretty straight one after that safety attempt from Joshua. He l he's left him a shot here on the one ball. Wow. And he also managed to open up that uh, problem, if it was a problem. I thought it was a dead combo, but he, yeah, he decided to play position for it. <coughs> open it up and try to make the two ball then in the corner pocket. Nice shot from Dimitri. Yeah, but he didn't didn't get uh, too much of a reward, did he? If it passes, uh, this is okay. But I'm not sure. He's not allowed to touch the four ball at all. And it passes. Passes. The three ball goes in the corner pocket. He's looking pretty relaxed, uh, little Joshua. Uh, 
he's waiting for his chance here at the table. He knows that he's gonna have uh, a visit. Maybe not to this rack, but with the other rack. Remember, it was his break, and it's going to be 2 0, and after it's going to be Dimitri with the next break. With running out the rack, he's going to be very confident, feeling better. Self confidence uh, rises to the top. And all of a sudden, you're breaking different, and if you make a ball on the break, and you got a. Um, a ball to play to, then it could be very fast, a 3-0. But we're still in the second rack. It's 1-0, these are the facts. And there are four balls to go in this rack. And he's got an angle to play with to get to the 7. Yeah, he's gonna try to let the cue ball travel over two rails, down to the other end of the table. <coughs> Let's see, I remember, I remember when uh, Dimitri became the junior world champion. I was in Quebec at the time, <coughs> mm -hmm. and uh, huh, time flies. Now Damn. he's playing against another junior, but the outcome of that shot is not necessarily what he wanted. And I think he has an angle, so he should be okay. Maybe not, maybe he's too straight, so then he has to draw the shot. Look, he's jacking he's ja up. Jacking up the queue there at the rail. He's a tall guy. And he can pull out a shot like that. And he played a follow shot. Did you see that one? Yeah. Elevates the cue, then the cue ball gets some sort of a, a, a curve after contacting uh, uh, the seven, like a punch up type of shot. Uh, now we got the eight. He has to make it and he will get position to the nine. Yeah, that's <coughs> nothing. <coughs> nothing tough for him. I think we can call it 2 0 now. Not yet. Ah, you're right. Oh, he, he backed up uh, again. Couldn't shoot it. But now it's in, and it's the 2 0 for Dimitri Jungo. Remain to the 16 players that make it to the single elimination from the winner's bracket. Okay, we got the ball in. Not much cue ball control here. It's on the rail. Yeah, uh, I think it's hard to control the cue ball since they have the break box here. You have to break from inside the box. And um, ah, it's tough. We, we've seen that yesterday. Who was that yesterday? Uh, the control was not that much. Fine, actually. Niels, yes. Fine. He constantly was making balls on the break, but the control of the cue ball was something different. Uh, I think, he, if I remember correctly, he broke pretty well at the beginning but then he lost it throughout the match and let's see what Dimitri is doing now He's offering a push out shot playing a push out Joshua. putting Joshua under pressure if he plays like I saw him earlier today against Oliver he goes there fires the shot in and runs the wreck but maybe a TV table maybe another opponent maybe I don't know we'll see Wow, jacking up. <laughs> what did I tell <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed by the uncanny potting ability from this young kid. He's just aiming, jacking up the cue, fires. Boom, in. <laughs> yeah. The next shot. He doesn't take prisoners. He just goes there, boom. That's it, no problem. He looks, he looks really focused on what he's doing. He's not. Uh, whoop! Maybe that position is not too much of what you. Oh, it's good. So he, okay. He's alright. Uh, oh, he fired that one too too yeah. quick. That's what I mentioned earlier <coughs> when he gets a bit too careless. But uh, normally he told me he gets careless when he's in the lead. But now he's trailing. 
That was not a good shot. Yeah, and instead of reducing the score here, two to one, looks not so good for little Joshua. Well, to be honest, let's put it that way. Even if he would lose this match, it would still be a big achievement for him on his first Euro Tour. Oop. Yeah. But it's not over until the fat lady sings, Honey yeah. Bunny. It's, uh, yeah. There we have it. <laughs> why, why Robert is uh, looking like that? I think because of the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it must have been no. drugs. No, that was very unexpected from... Uh, Dimitri, yeah. Dimitri. I, I mean, like... He wanted to be on the other side of uh, of the eight. I don't know. I think he wanted to get a four rail shot with the cue ball, getting to the um, to the eight, but didn't didn't get it. So I think we're gonna see another visit of uh, Joshua. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's possible to me. I think what he's trying to do is. Well, we'll see. Is he playing safe? Yeah, it looks like safe. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to play it thinner. He didn't want to leave him an open shot, and this could be the first uh, chance. I mean, he had a chance. Oops, slow it down, boy. In that situation, though, it's still a very, <coughs> a very uh, tough shot to make for young Joshua. Dead in. That center, N but no position. Oh, I'm not saying no position, but oh, he's going too quick down. But no problem. Oops, uh, he's uh, raising his hand not for excuse. Not that center, but well, this guy is very very relaxed. Lost the oh. cue ball while breaking, doing the cut break, but no okay. balls on the break, but no shot. That's uh what is it, a dry break? Mm, no, there's four balls in the two balls. Two balls in the Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it's a dry break. It's a dry break and he can't play push out, uh Dimitri. And it's Joshua with the push. It must have been the dry break. Oh that's a special rule for the Euro Tour. Absolutely, you need the uh, three balls passing the head string to don't have a dry break. If you make a ball, then it's only two balls passing the head string. If you make th uh, uh, three, two balls, then one Let ball. I guess it's only one ball then. Exactly, you're absolutely correct, Thomas. Uh, and uh, if you make three balls, no ball has to cross the line. Ex absolutely. Wow, how did you get that one? You're Perfect. a smart guy. I knew this one. I mean, like. And here's Joshua uh, Filler, who got it back. Try to play what? To play, try to play a... See that? I mean, to be honest, what did he want to do <coughs> with that shot? I don't understand. Uh, I don't know what he had in mind. Maybe he wanted to bank it. One one rail could be. But in the end, it turned out uh, he's got lucky. Because he put the cue ball behind the five. Yeah, he drive uh, Oliver Ortman with this uh, the kind of things nuts. Mm. Though Ortman, he was uh, afterwards he was a sportsman. Like he said, um, yeah, of course he he uh, is a great talent and, and he can get very far. But uh, it's hard to lose like that against anyone. Mm. And a good answer from. Uh Dimitri. Also, also, lucky outcome for him. He's not hesitating. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this kid already. <laughs> Dimitri ha is smiling. Dimitri ha is, is smiling because he likes the shots too. 
<laughs> he likes the way he's playing um, that. We have to excuse. Uh, Uh, Thomas, I'm getting a very important phone and uh, he's out on my commentary box and he's going to come back very soon. But now it's a very tough shot here on uh, on loop 2. Let's focus back on the table. Oh, and he missed it. And I think, again, he got lucky. He's raising his hand for apologies. Yes, uh, there is a seven ball in between uh, uh, the two ball and the cue ball. Got lucky. And uh, Dimitri is looking for his uh, possibilities. Kick shot, jump. It was a correct shot, but I think he's left him a shot for the two ball. It's a very thin cut on the two. He needs to play it a very thin. The position is going to be almost automatically here for the three ball. It's uh, just a matter of the speed of the cue ball that he will have a tough shot or an easy shot. But he will have a shot on the three if he makes this two ball into the corner. And here's our pocket camera view. And it's what I said. He's got a shot on the three, and he's got a good angle on the three, if you ask me. But, uh, okay, he punched it into the rail, and the cue ball came out again. But he was on the wrong side of the four. Still, the five is not at the rail. It's, uh, he has to thin it in. And this was the problem of it all. I, I don't know why he didn't uh, play the three ball, just roll it forward, and then play the four ball uh, into the pocket. He would have uh, being underneath the nine. And he would have natural path towards the five. Instead, he came out short, and then it was a trouble um, getting position to the five. Missing it, and now it's Dimitri back again. Still early matches here, and uh, two to one is there's nothing to say. Three to one is already a small lead for Dimitri, two game lead. Matthias Snigotski is leading two games to one against Harald Stolka. Marco Vogel is 1-6 behind against Marcus Buck. Jakob Belka is trailing one game to three against Vegar Christiansen. Ralf Suke is playing Shandor Tot. And he's leading three games to two. Stefan Cohen leading three games to one against uh, Roman Hübler. And now let's get back here to our match. Because we're coming closer to the nine. Dimitri is not... Well, every shot is missable, of course, but he, uh, I, I know him very good. He's not going to miss this nine. He's going to focus on making this nine. As a former world champion of the youth and uh, he was the winner of uh, the Euro Tour in the year 2000. I don't remember which uh, Euro Tour stop it was. I don't know. Okay, all right. So so I see Dimitri has won another rack. Yep, I mean uh, Joshua had the chance to run the rack but unfortunately he ran out of position while pocketing the three. 
He was on the four, but he was on the wrong side of the four, and then he's left himself a very tight, a very tough uh, five ball. Tried to thin it in, and then he's left it uh, in front of the corner pocket, which was uh, wow. the chance for Dimitri. This was a little careless, if you ask me. You don't bounce into balls. Well, I, I don't, don't know. He had to, to thin cut it very thin. Uh, it's, it's an easy save you can play there. Played it good and uh, yeah, appreciation from Dimitri okay. Jungo. Tapping his cue on the rail. I see this one. I mean, <coughs> what uh, the time is, what, 20 minutes so we're playing? Oh. And it's Marco's book playing Marco Vogel. And he's seven games up, uh, seven games to one up against Marco. Yeah, that must be a, a quick match. Yeah, we know Marco is a cl quick player. And he's left him a shot. He got rewarded for his safety play. The young kid, the young gun. Mm -hmm. And now we'll see what he can do. It's makeable, this uh, wreck. Not necessarily easy, but uh, makeable. The expectations. Could be now the position to the fire. Look, uh, he doesn't take his time. Absolutely not. And. He got okay. <laughs> it unfolds quite nicely for him. Here I don't understand why he didn't. Oh well, he can't cut it into the uh, the side pocket. He, it's enough space. This, this guy is, I don't know. He has nothing to lose. He's a, a winner already. Yeah. A good break. He made a ball on the break, and he's got a shot on the one ball. Yeah. Now this is the chance for him to get back into his game, or to get into his game, and. Uh, it would be cool if he would do the same thing as he did when he was playing Altman, and you could see how, I don't know, how cool he starts shooting these balls. I mean, look at this. It's not necessarily an easy shot on the two, right? True, that is. Boom. And in it is. Next one. Three. But he's on the wrong side again uh, of the three ball, if mm. he wants to get to the four. Well, but no he problem. Doesn't, he doesn't care. Yeah, he's taking the rail and there he yeah. is. Take the rest, why? He's tall enough to get the shot. Here we go with an easy shot on the five, the six in front of the jaws of the corner of the side pocket, the eight in front of the jaws of the corner pocket. Well. Suck. <laughs> look, at, look at the pace this guy's playing. Boom, 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 boom. Now he's slowing down because he knows he has to take the rest. He hates the rest. All young kids hate the rest. He doesn't <laughs> like to play the rest. Come on. How do you know? Ah. No one likes the rest. Well, some kids do. But most pool players don't like it. Where did he get? Well, interesting <laughs> position. Oh, no, come on. It was I a I very nice run no, out here till he now. He really, uh, he probably said, "Well, the cue ball is gonna travel there somewhere, so I'm, I'm gonna be okay." And if you can pop it. these balls and keep <laughs> the cue ball on the table, <laughs> well, there you go, no mistakes. Breaking different. A lot of power this time. Two balls behind the headstring, and uh, 
Nice layout. Very nice, nice layout. Really uh, nice. I would be amazed if we see anything different than a run out. One in the corner, two in the side. Four in that corner pocket. Getting five. to the five, no problem. From the five to the six, I don't see any problems there. You, you, you are right. You believe me, do you? I believe. I just want to check myself what the paths are. You're very quick, Thomas. I mean, like, I know you're not battery operated, but it looks like, really, you're pretty quick. I know a guy who he, he is battery operated. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Why are you looking now at uh, Robert? I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't get it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one day. Mm, okay. See, this, uh, yeah, the boats really ran in his favor this time when he broke. I mean, I it's a good break, so that's okay. Marco Vogel is starting a comeback. Two games to seven against Marcus Buck. Also interesting in the losers qualifier, we have Ralf Suke playing Zando Tot. Yes. We had that uh, yesterday, the match. Oh, you're right. Exactly the same matchup. And at that time, uh, Suke played dramatical fouls. So obviously, he made his way through the winners, uh, losers side, sorry. And Tot, uh, where he meets Tot again now. So he could take revenge. And actually, he's up 5 2. Yeah, this is the revenge match. But with Ralf Suke uh, having taken out uh, Nicholas Ottoman 9 nil, I guess he's in a pretty good shape. He's focused. Yeah, I heard that. I didn't see the match, but I heard that. Look at that. Chris Melling is lea leading 7 nil versus Napoleon, Marcus Schamatt from Sweden. Oh. Whew, Schamatt is not a, not a weak player. Absolutely. But these, uh, the British players are very strong currently. They hold five out of the top ten ranks in the Euro Tour rankings, including number one, Carl Boyce, who, for <coughs> your information, is the role model for um, Joshua Filler. Joshua Filler. When I interviewed him, I asked him, and I, as I told you, he said Carl Boyce. Yeah, you would have a different pick, right, on this, but uh, yeah, like but we that said, that's, uh, that's different, different just generation. Yeah. I would pick you, Marco. Thank you, sweetheart. We have uh, Dimitri Junger now playing position for the nine into the side. Oh, oh my goodness. What an uncharacteristic mistake. He wanted to punch it in, you know, into his heart. Oh my goodness. But he says, what did I do here? Oh, that he was a... He doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand it, and he's left him a cut shot on the nine. Joshua Filler. Oh, he's having another look. Making it into the corner pocket. He only needs this nine ball, and he's getting the nine ball. Yeah, well, now... We see again, look at that break. One, two, three, four, five, six, three balls down. And a shot on the two in the side. Great break from Joshua yeah. Filler. Look at that. Now, um, he doesn't mess around. Look at that. He goes to the table, jacks up. Oh, maybe one more look. And yeah. then rock and roll. This kid is really, it's... Interesting to watch, let's put it that way. I'm, I'm sure he's going to change his uh, many things while he grows up. Wow, oh, that's an interesting Wow, camera. what a great shot here from Joshua Filler. And the thing I like about it is uh, everybody was breaking and doing these cut breaks. After yeah. seeing that Dimitri was successful with his power break, he changed all of a sudden his break to a power break and he made three balls. Yeah, what an answer. Look now. Look, this, this is what I'm saying. Uh, now, uh, these balls normally he fires them in. Look at that. <laughs> to me, I would call this a very, very <laughs> difficult <laughs> shot. And this kid goes there, he doesn't really think about it, and he fires them dead center in the pockets. There's one word for it, talent. It is talent, but I would also say it's uh, maybe 
you know children they are a bit they don't know or sometimes they don't know what could happen so they're not afraid of things i mean do you go skiing yes When i do do downhill skiing you see the children going down the the hill and if you would think if you would do that and say oh if i fall now my knees could crack and, and then that happens they don't think this way this way I mean. and coming back from the toilet dimitri jungo starts to get ready for his next break and it's going to be very interesting to see how he's going to cope with that uh That mistake that he made earlier. That was really a dramatic mistake. Uh, we don't know, as in the match earlier, what it does to his uh, what it does to his self confidence. You know, two, four, six, eight, nine balls on the table with an excellent position on the one. Look at Joshua. Wow, I going mean, underneath the three. Yeah, unbelievable. He doesn't... Oh, he doesn't like it. Mm -mm. Did you see the he body like language? Yeah, no, he likes it. But, but look at Joshua. He doesn't care. That's that's the interesting thing. Um, I read his body language <coughs> in a way that he doesn't care. What comes, comes. He goes there. If it's a tough shot, okay, I've got to fire it in. I think when it was the uh, the... European Youth Championships, this high run in straight pool was uh, 75 balls, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I heard from Daniel Alvarez that he heard after that he, he made more balls after that. He, he had a higher run in straight pool. 75 balls for a 12-year-old he was by then. has already something. Mm -hmm. And uh, Maybe now he's got the 100 or something. Well, look at that. He's playing position for a combo, which you wouldn't necessarily do if you're not forced to. But hey, here we go. Both balls in. I don't care. Yeah, who cares? Here is the uh, the seven. I will play the seven. All right. No five, no six on the bo uh, on the board. Let's take the seven out of the playing surface. Here you go. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not that the guy, that uh, Joshua doesn't know what he's doing. He knows very well what he's doing. It's amazing to see the easiness with which he comes to the table, right? Absolutely. Normally people, especially with the long shots, with the difficult shots, with combos, you know, adult people would start looking around, but um, this kid walks around the table, <coughs> boom. And that's what he admitted to me when I interviewed him. That's his words. He said, ah, that always happens to me, you know. One ball in, but here we go. Now he has to start with a tactical shot. Alrighty. Because he has demonstrated to all of us so far that he can pot balls. Now... Looking for the tactical aspect. Play the push out here, and now let's see the answer of Dimitri Jungo. received some interesting information about the other tournament and uh, looking at all those results we have the first finished match David Al-Qaeda beat Christian Andersen from Norway 9-2 Marco Vogel is applying pressure while being back and now he is returning four games to seven mm -hmm. or seven games to one down how oh, about now Marco's made he's on the hill eight games to four while I'm saying these words Dimitri just missed the uh, <coughs> two ball. And I think this is also not an easy layout. It's it's not not necessarily easy. Uh, and uh, see, careless. That was careless. Absolutely careless. He didn't I mean play safe. He didn't pocket. And I mean, uh, well if we saw what he pocketed earlier, we know he can do it if he needs to. But now he's careless. And that's exactly what he said to me when uh, I was doing the interview. He played the position for the 3-6 and he had already this ball um, in the pocket in his mind. 
and he, he got careless. Uh, he wanted to be sure to get a, an easy 3-6 combination because the 3 is far, far away from it. But, well, 6 is hanging inside a, the jaws of that corner pocket. <coughs> Uh, I don't know if Dimitri goes for the same combo or if he... Uh, does the three travel in the side pocket? I don't know. Can you see it from that angle? I don't think that it goes into the uh, pocket. Uh, you have a chance to play safe, but... You would love to have it straighter in. Can't pull the trigger. What are you saying? Oh, he's he's telling him to stop uh, wiggling with the with the towel. He was uh, cleaning up his hands. Uh, Joshua. Okay, I didn't notice that. I'm standing uh, where I am, is uh, directly behind his back, so could yeah, see it. He didn't do it on purpose, I think. Uh. No, no, I wouldn't think so. Now. This is not a good outcome for Dimitri. He played the shot, and I think it, uh, well, he made the combo, but I'm not sure if he cannot make the three. I don't think so. Well, yeah, that's the better view on the situation. Thanks, Robert. Uh, he's doing funny things behind my back, right, is he? Yeah, well, he's doing funny things for days now. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, we are not partners anymore, Robert. We I'm not going to eat any strawberry soup with you. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go into that one. Okay. <laughs> now we <laughs> see, what is he trying to do? Is he trying to jump? Or is he trying to masse? He masse, oh, wow. nice shot. Great shot. Nice shot from Dimitri. Great shot. And he's not home yet. Play the two, uh, the four, probably across the table. He has two options, left or right. I would think uh, I would take the, the the lower from here on the left pocket, from this view, this angle, because you get automatic position on the five. Yeah, this is what he does. Excellent shot. Yeah. And we don't want to announce anything before he is uh, pocketing the rest, yeah. uh, the last three balls. We had uh, one rack on his account, it was I think three racks ago, and all of a sudden the whole match changes and it was then 3-3. Three, three. And he's now 6-3 behind uh, Dimitri. But he's focused now, I bet he's yeah, yeah. not... He's not making one of those mistakes. He's not going to fire that one in, he's going to play mean, it it's smoothly. It could have cost him the match already, and as we speak... Now let's focus back here on the TV table, on the future TV table. Table 24 in Paris. No balls on the break. Dimitri is not happy. You yeah. can see... <coughs> He's not happy, though he didn't leave a, a tough shot, but knowing Joshua now, I don't know, yeah, probably he's going to thin cut the, the one ball in the corner pocket, the right corner pocket from this angle. You think so he's going to go for it? Yeah, look. And again, careless. We s we know he can do better, but w you, you see he doesn't take his time. He doesn't take his time, he's careless. Maybe that's because he's in the lead. I don't know. That's uh, That were his words, and uh, that's exactly the same as what he did with Ortmann. But, as I told you earlier, with Ortmann, he was lucky with the positions he left for Oliver. I don't know if that's the same case with uh, this match now. I mean, this now, Dimitri could run out. Could run out. Oh, oh he could God. run out if he doesn't snooker himself. Oh, oh behind the Quite three... Unique. What a punishment here he, re yeah. he received. Why? He's uh, opening up his shirt. Yeah, it's getting hot there in the TV arena. We had more lights there. Yeah, try another Marseille. I don't know. 
Maybe he's going for a jump. Yeah, he's taking out the jump cue now. But he's cool as a cucumber here, sitting there, little Joshua. He doesn't care, but he's watching the actions. He's uh, he's what? He's cool as a cucumber. Yeah, he's cool as uh, as ice. Is he drinking Coke? That looks he's like. Yeah, drinking Coke. Well, he's uh, 12 years old. He's allowed to drink 13. a Coca-Cola. 13. 13, I'm sorry. Yeah, he can. We have another result from the other table. Scott Higgins defeating Petri Makunen. Good shot, Dimitri. You escaped from what you'd done earlier. And he's got a shot on the three. Can uh, take it into the corner and then fall on the. I think he's four. going for the for the side uh, for the corner pocket because otherwise he wouldn't get the position. To the four ball, right? right? If so he, if he would play the three ball in the side pocket, that would mean he would have to do something funny with a cue ball. Absolutely which correct. I don't think that he's risking. So since the three ball travels past the six, I think he's going for the corner pocket. And he proved us wrong. He's going for the side. Yep. All right. Well, if you like that one. Well, he has the right angle to travel for the five, or towards the five. He only has to look for not falling behind the nine and playing the right speed. I'm not sure if he can hold a cue ball in position for the five ball. I would have gone the other way around, but see, oh. see, 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 see. I don't like them shots myself. That's uh, second big mistake from Dimitri here. An unforced error. Another one, yeah. Unforced error. He didn't need this one. And again, and look, look how high it on. Play very quick. So Play very fast. quick. Unbelievable. It's going down, boom, fire. He can take him, and he has the yeah, time. Yeah, but <laughs> listen, 13 years old. Um, he looks cool, but we don't know what the inside is. The True, that uh, is. Maybe he is nervous. Um, yeah, that's the way he's trying to not think about that he's nervous, so he's going and playing quick. Yeah. But look at this, he managed to run out the rack. Not yet. Not yet, okay, not not yet. I'm not uh, calling it before it wow. happened. And look at this, playing position, even using the short rail here for the for the yeah, eight. But again, the position's not good. He has to go behind the nine now and uh, play the nine down the table, passing the side pocket, which normally you would like to prevent. goes for the side pocket. <laughs> Again. Great shot, Joshua. Yeah, but great, uh, great you shot. You what happens when you fire balls in side pockets like uh, Dimitri did. But Let's not with it. Joshua. No ball on the break now. This time, no luck for Joshua Filler. He's showing some emotions. Looking up the air saying God why no ball is inside that pocket why any ball didn't find a way into the diamond two table we're gonna have a diamond three table right uh, um, Thomas yeah I heard that I heard that Fr I think from the European Championships this year on and onwards it's gonna be the new model <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Some people are passing our commentary box and then we have to... We're not laughing at you or at the table at the place, so sorry. <laughs> but some people are... F we have this plastic... Uh, the, the glass box here. Uh, and uh, they're doing funny things, faces, and that's why it's so funny here. Right? Sometimes. Look at that resave. Well Good played, job. young man. Well played. Dimitri knows that uh, if he wants to stay in the tournament, he g he's got to win that rack. Because if, if Joshua is 8-4 down, with the uh, format being alternate break, and uh, given the, the, the shape or the, the, the performance that Joshua has done so far, I don't think that he could come back if he loses this rack. And I think he knows it. That's a lot of pressure for... Uh for uh, young, for Dimitri. Well, Dimitri is still young. Nice try. Not successful though. And now we see if the one ball comes back from the cushion. I think it's makeable. I think it's a makeable shot, yep. Yeah. Look at the crowd. Now this is a very good camera, thanks Robert. Now you can see the crowd. All these people are interested, I think, mainly in Joshua. But he <gasps> overcut it. Too thin. What does the cue ball do? Nothing. Still see, on the table. I uh, it's unbelievable. It's, it's almost uh, the same as with Ortmann. I mean, nah? He was he was taking the lead, then he got careless. Right, Oliver got back a little bit further. But right. uh, he, uh, also here now he's lucky with the positions that he leaves to Dimitri. And he's playing the safe right away. He's not trying to cut this uh, thin get in. Behind the six, ah, but probably not as close as he would have wanted to. And uh, good answer. He only leave. Uh, he's leaving a bank to Dimitri Jungo. No, he's gonna play. Go for the save. Put the cue ball down to this uh, end of the table and leave the one ball at the other end. I yeah, guess that's the path I he would like to. Ideally, with the balls in the middle of short rail. So. Oh, we see Valery Kuloyans now passing our commentary box. He won over Richard Jones nine games to three. Valery Kuloyans. And here goes uh, Dimitri. Going past that five, through that alley, and behind ah, the nine. Good, good he's shot. Good, he's good. Very good. Now, if Junior goes in and kicks the one in over the rail, I'm out of this box. <laughs> Yeah, and you didn't tail. jinx him. It was a very tough shot. No, no, it's uh, true. Uh, played fairly quickly, though, but still, tough shot. But I think now the pressure... Uh, that's going to be interesting now, because now the 100% pressure is on, on Dimitri. Still? Yeah. So you see the young kid missing a shot, and he's sitting there, but the pressure is still on Dimitri. I mean, he's far behind be, uh, this young kid, and the young kid is going to get another chance here at the table and he knows uh, and he knows that uh, Dimitri knows that if he gets this chance the kid is on the hill and it could be all over like you said before and he's going to be out of the tournament Look yeah. at that. Yeah, it looks good. I think. Does he have the two for the corner pocket yeah, past yeah, the yeah, nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think a whole bus can go through there. With Dutch tourists. 
with a <laughs> with a touch the wrist. <laughs> Big travel bus. Robert loves you for that. He's gonna give you now the pocket camera. Uh, for let us see how the two ball goes into the pocket. Did he fall asleep again, or he's not listening, right? <laughs> there you go. What is he going to do? There goes Thanks, the pocket Robert. cam. Thanks, Robert. Nice view, nice camera angle. Thank you. Still likes us. Y yeah, he loves us. I, I said like. You said okay. <laughs> It's a tricky rack. I mean, you can easily fall behind balls with, with this many traffic here. You got the three to the four, and then there's a five, and if you want to play position to the five, there's the eight ball in between. Oh, and he missed it. He missed the three ball, and now is let's see. Is he lucky? See I, I think it looks like he's. Li I'm not sure if Joshua can see that. Yeah, he got lucky. I, I think. I would bet you if Joshua can see. I'm not sure if Joshua can see it. He's gonna run it out, but I don't think he can see it. So if that's gonna be a jump shot, that's kind of a task for Joshua. Maybe he can. I don't know. You can't see it. Yeah, he could yeah. play it. But look, look at this shot now. To me, that's a. Brutal shot. Yeah, I mean, prob low percentage prob probably shot. Probably the four is, is makeable, but hey. Cue ball close to the cushion, almost straight. And, and long distance between the balls. Wow. Jacking up because he needs position for the five. And firing it. Firing it in. It in. Unbelievable. Let's look. Even... even Top stars here like Rash Hundal, Chris Melling, the English. Uh, the we have uh, Artem Koshovoy from Ukraine standing here. Vincent Fakke. Everybody's looking at this young kid. Uh, everybody says it's unbelievable because everybody heard about him, but they want to see him. Maybe we could, yeah, you see that? <coughs> In the background, uh, on the left side, this is, uh, <coughs> this is uh, Jason Shaw there talking yep. to another Scotsman. Yeah. Boom, and fires uh, it in. Well, ah, he's, he's too short. happy with that, but he doesn't complain for a long time. He just goes and fires the eight in. He accepted it, and then here we go. That's the eight. There's the pocket. Boom. Suck. And what? Oh, that's good for him. He say, I'm sorry. Ah, he's smiling. He says, mm -hmm. okay, that's best that could have happened. I don't have to put it. Yeah. Along the rail. Oh, Dimitri. Dimitri. Oh no, nothing happened. Dimitri knows uh, that this could be. It could be very tough and to come back here. It's not necessarily a, a lucky draw. He uh, made a ball on the break. He made two break, balls on the break. Uh, Good break. Cue ball and in the center of the table and the shot on the two. Bringing it back. But see, that's what I said earlier. Even if Joshua now would play a uh, run out and then Joshua has a bad rack and he runs out again and then uh, still Joshua, he needs one more chance and very likely to get that, I think. You're absolutely right, and uh, this is a lot of pressure for uh, Dimitri Jungo Thomas, and uh, he knows it. But now he's with his back uh, against the wall, and the only thing he can do is uh, pocket balls, play ball after ball, I position after position. I'm not sure, I'm not sure position. If I would like. Sorry, I'm not sure if I would like the six ball. I think he tries to get it off the cushion. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got uh, got punished for the easy mistake on the three ball, uh, the last rack. And Joshua to showed him that uh, even if they are laying three very low percentage balls, he's gonna make it, and he, Dimitri knows it. Still. Mm -hmm. 
This is the last chance here for Dimitri, and uh, he needs this uh, last three balls to get to the 8-5, but it's going to be Joshua Filler with a break. And uh, nobody knows uh, what is going to be the wreck after this. Oh, we got the pocket cam again. Oh man, not much of a position for Dimitri. Yeah, it's a 50-yard line here. There's something in between, but uh, he will be able to make it, I think. Yes, uh, drawing it past the middle pocket, and the score <coughs> is eight games to five. Oops. Oh, did he get lucky? Huh. He, oh, I don't know if he's got a shot on the on well the one looks ball. looks like he's got a shot. Did you see uh, Dimitri's reaction? He's shaking his head. He said, wow, man. Wow. Almost lost the cue ball on, on that shot. He yeah. can make the one ball and he can uh, obtain like. position for the two. But he has to be very careful. Probably he's got the cue ball frozen to the rail now. But as we <laughs> said earlier, he couldn't care less. Now, uh, there was nothing he could do about that shot. I mean, he's straight into the uh, the two ball. Let's see what he will do with that. Oh, and he it. missed it. Missing it. And he missing it. He's not. What is that? Is that the three game careless thing again, or is it because of the big lead, or was that nervousness, or was it just? Come on, it was a tough shot, uh, Thomas, yeah, and he had to yeah. slow roll it because he needs to obtain position for the three. He couldn't play really a stab shot on that. He had to uh, obtain position and he wanted to achieve this just by, you know, rolling it in. When you see this young uh, Joshua playing, sometimes, uh, at least it happens to me, I tend to forget that um, I'm talking about a 13-year-old boy here, you know. I mean, uh, of course, you cannot demand him playing without mistakes. He, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> he's a young person. He's entitled to make mistakes. Dimitri Jungo firing in the combination, 2-5 combination into the that side was pocket. Anger. That <laughs> was At least part of that shot was anger. And the place is packed now. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> watching. Dimitri is yeah, maybe he's mad. He says, these people are all coming in to g see me get slaughtered here by this <laughs> <laughs> small guy. By, by this young kid, yeah. yeah. I think oh, it's And he's he has the cue now over the nine ball. Look at that. That's he's not happy yeah. with the position of uh, the cue ball. A few inches that. further, he would like to have the uh, cue ball there. Imagine the pressure for, for Dimitri now. <laughs> Knowing Joshua is on the hill, so if you make another mistake, it could be your last visit to the table. Knowing that all your colleagues are standing here, like <laughs> hungry, hungry wolves, waiting for the prey. And considering that this was a great shot from Dimitri, and ah, look at the cue we're ball. Not, we're not sure if he has a shot on the. Wow. He has a shot on the four, but. <sighs> Getting position to the six. Mm. This is. He has to pull out something here out of his sleeve. Let it run, let it roll, or draw it back. Two options. I would go for the draw, I think. I don't know how far the cue ball is away from the cushion. Oh, he, he w he's looking for the roll, I think. L just roll it forward, just need, uh, use natural angle to get towards the right. And then uh, thin the six ball in, yeah. and then he's missing it. Missing. Maybe second chance? No. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Second no prize. No luck on the position. No, uh, maybe he could have left a save for Joshua, but no. Okay. Now, if Joshua keeps his nerves together, is cool, is not careless. And now we have the moving camera here. Also, yeah.
Yeah, did you see that Dimitri puts his head down and, and shakes it as he if he wants to say, oh no, why did I make those mistakes? I think for him the his way down what started when he fired the nine ball yeah. in the side pocket without any reason and having it uh You're absolutely <laughs> correct, Thomas. The uh the nine ball into the side pocket was Useless, unnecessary, unnecessary, yeah, unnecessary. mistake. He yeah. could have rolled that in, it would have been his game. He would have more pressure on the kid. Instead, he's uh, sitting here, trailing far behind, but oh, maybe this is the no last no chance no, for the okay. kid. It's gonna be okay. Did you see his arm, how he went? Come on, travel. Yeah, travel more, a few inches. I bet you, Marco, that when if this boy now pockets the nine ball, mm. then all these people gonna applaud like this is gonna be... They're gonna go crazy. Loud. They're gonna. They're <laughs> he's gonna. T he's taking a sip of coke. They're gonna freak out. They're gonna go bananas ah, here. This is gonna be loud. Maybe we could get a, a shot of the audience and also. Yeah. And also the kid. Here's a nine for Joshua Filler, In. who is taking out Dimitri Jungo of the tournament, and he's Very smiling. Good. He's taking Dimitri the small spread like. Yeah, it's it's good. I mean, Dimitri knows he didn't play good. He didn't play well. Of course, to be honest, you must say Joshua in some situation was kind of lucky, but I would still say he's deserved to be the winner. He, he Taking the whole match into account, I would think Joshua was a better player. Absolutely, Today. you're correct. Today. Today and in this moment, and this right. is what counts. And uh, it's Joshua Filler proceeding to the stage of the last 32. Thomas, uh, it was a pleasure again to have you here. Thank you very much, Marco. Pleasure always uh, commentating with you and... Uh, Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because we're going to have the stage of the last 32 here and uh, let's see what is going to be at the TV arena. Thank you very much for the time now and see you again soon. Bye-bye.